Okay, so right now, we're going to look at this kinematics problem. A runner is jogging at a steady 4.0 km per hour rate. So, that's what this VR means. It is the velocity of the runner. They're traveling at that constant rate of 4.0 kilometers every one hour. When the runner is 8.4 kilometers from the finish line. So that means that if they're currently at a position of 0 meters, that means that that finish line is a position of 8.4 kilometers. So when they're that far away, a bird begins flying from the runner to the finish line at a rate of 20 kilometers every one hour. Five times as fast as the runner. When the bird reaches the finish line, it turns around and flies back to the runner. So really, this first motion of the bird, it flies in a straight line in that direction. That means it travels one length this way. Once it gets here, it travels back some amount of distance this way. It keeps doing that until it runs into that runner. Whenever they are at the exact same position, at the exact same time, that's what we're trying to solve for, is how far overall does the bird travel? So let's say that this is where the runner ends up. Let's call that a position X. So what that really means is the bird flies that original length, and then they fly backwards to get to whatever length this is, that total length, minus whatever position they got to, because that is the amount of distance that was not covered. So really, our distance traveled by the bird is equal to the original length traveled, plus that second of the total distance traveled, the length minus whatever position the runner got to. Now, we know that the distance traveled by the bird, which is flying at a rate five times greater than the speed of the runner, means that the total distance traveled by the bird should be five times greater than the distance of the runner. So, if we were saying that the distance of the runner was x, that means that this is going to be equal to 5x. And that means that the distance of the bird, which we said was going to be 2l minus x. I'm just combining these terms over here. We had two of those l's minus the x. When we have that set up with this equation on the right, we can just solve for x. At this point, I'm just going to have this entirely in terms of our bird variables. So 2 times the length is equal to, add the x to both sides, 6x. So the distance that the runner got to would have been 2 sixths or 1 third, the total length of the distance when the bird managed to come all the way around. So that's 1 third the total length. Well, once I have this, I can just plug that x back in for this one to solve for everything else. The total distance of the bird would then be 2 times the total length traveled minus 1 third of the length, which is the position of that runner when these two meet again. That means the total distance of the bird would be 2, 2L minus 1 third L, or 5 thirds times the total length. If the total length is 8.4 kilometers, then 5 thirds times 8.4 would be 14 kilometers, which is the total distance traveled by the bird.